Hi and welcome to this archetype review and today we are going to review Tremid and the first card we are going to review for the new archetype Tremid is Tremid Dancer. It's a earth rock level 3 600 attack 1900 defense. And the effect of this card is once per turn you can target one Tremid card in your graveyard, shuffle into your deck and if you do all rock type monsters you control current control gains primary attack and defense. So, once per turn you can target a tribute a monster in your, in, your gar in your graveyard and shuffle to your deck and all monsters in the field gains primary attack and defense. Pretty good. Once per turn during your opponent's turn you can target one tribute field spell card you control send it to your graveyard. And if you do activate a Tremid field spell card from your deck with a different name from the card uh, from the field from the field spell. Wait, I'm gonna re read that again. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one Tremid field spell card you or you control, send it to your graveyard. And if you do activate one Tremid field spell card from your deck with a different name from that field spell card. So you can basically, like, I know this card, this archetype has, I believe, three field spells. You can destroy one field spell and activate another one. So that's pretty cool. I mean, this card is pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty good beginning at least. I don't know how many cards you would run. I mean, it's not that many monsters. I believe it's like three. So you might want to run two, maybe three cups of this card. But it's, it's pretty solid for a first card of the archetype. But basically, you can send a Tremid card from your graveyard uh, uh, target your mid card in your graveyard, send it back, and then all monster gains 5 on attack and defense. I believe you can send back the field spells because they are tremid. And then you can activate a field during either, either your or your opponent, you can destroy a field spell and su uh, summon another field spell. So you can kind of activate more than one field spell. That's pretty cool. I think this card definitely, I, I would run it at 3, but I don't know. It might be better cards coming. So, Tremid Hunter, Rock. Uh, level 3, 1400 14 attack, 1100 defense. Uh, during your main phase, if this, uh, if uh, there is a phase up field spell card on your field, you can normal summon one rock type monster in addition to your normal summoner set. That's pretty good, definitely gonna run this card at 3. You can only gain the effect once per turn, of course. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one Tremid field spell card you control senator graveyard and if you do activate one Tremid field spell from the deck uh, with a different name from that card. So you basically have the same second effect you can destroy a field spell search out another field spell except this card allows you to normal summon a rock type monster in addition to your normal summoner set. So I think it has some combinations with of course Dancer. So you can do some rank 3 plays if you want to. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely like Tremid Hunter. I would run both these as three because you know you can do some rank three shenanigans there. And of course, we have Tremid Master. Tremid Master, I mean. It's a rock, uh, level four, 18 attack, 700 defense. Once per turn, you can send one face up Tremid card you control to the graveyard, then target one set card on the field, destroy it. Once per turn during any player's turn, you can target one Tremid field spell card. Central graveyard activate with another field spell. It's basically the same effect, the last part. But the first part is different because the last part is the same. You destroy a field spell, activate another field spell with a different name from your deck. That's the second part. The first part is you can send one face up Tremid monster you control to the graveyard, target one set card and field destroyed. So it's basic destruction. Really good. I mean, these three definitely com do combo well together. So I would definitely run these in the deck. So I don't see any of these that I won't run. So yeah, on to the boss monster then. Uh, Tremid Swings, Earth Rock, level 10, 2500 attack, 2500 defense. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon with the Tremid card effect, and cannot be special summon by other ways. If a face up Tremid, if a face up Tremid cards you control is destroy a battle or by card effect. Except Tremid Sphinx, you can special summon this card from your hand. Well, this, when you control another Tremid card, uh, while you control another Tremid card, this card gains 500 attack and defense for each field spell card with different names 
in your graveyard. Also, a monster you also a monster your opponent control can only attack from its wings. So basically, uh, it must be a special summon with its own effect. I believe you cannot normal special summon. You cannot normal set it. Must be set special summon with a Tremid card effect, uh, and cannot be special in other way. So when a Tremid uh, card or card card or cards is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can accept of accept of course this card. You can special summon this card from your hand, and then it gains five attack and defense for each field spell with different names in your graveyard or on your field. No, uh, uh, for each field spell kind of different names in your graveyard. So with three field spells, that means that this can become four thousand. Yeah, it can be a real good. Be I like. I really like Tremid. I mean, these cards work really good together. So I'm definitely excited about it that this can become a four thousand beater, uh, and it's not it's not that hard to summon to be honest with you. I mean, with these cards, I don't think this card is so hard to summon because you know. Uh, when a Tremid card is destroyed, you can summon this guy. When this car card is destroyed, you cannot. But it can become really powerful. I mean, if you have two different field spells, you can basically use 3500. So We are going to go over to the field spells now. Tremid Cruiser, field spell. Each summer rock type monster is normal summoned, gain 500 life points. Okay. If a Tremid monster is normal summoned, you can draw one card. Okay, uh, then discard one card if the face up card is sent. If this face up card is sent to the field zone to the graveyard, you can add one Tremid monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can only use the effect of Tremid Cruiser once per turn. Once again, really solid. Uh, each time a rock type monster is normal summoned, you, you gain 500 life points. If a Tremid monster is normal summoned, you can draw one card and discard one card, and when this card is sent for, for, from the field zone to the graveyard, you can add a Tremid monster from a graveyard. Uh, add a Tremid monster from a deck to, to your hand. So draw power, life point gain, and draw draw power, draw power, and life point gain. This card is really good, probably the best field spell so far. Let's see what the other field spells can do. And this is Tremid Fortress. And I like that it has with the Egyptian team, like it, it, it's completely Egyptian. I really love that. All rock type monsters on the field gains 500 defense. Okay, Tremid monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's pretty good. Uh, if this face up card is sent to the field zone to the graveyard, you can target one Tremid monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and uh, you can only use this effect monster. So basically, all rock type monsters against 500 defense. Uh, Tremid monster you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Really solid. And if this card is sent to your field zone to the graveyard, you can target Tremid monster in your graveyard and add to your hand. So draw power and defense. This is more defensive card. I mean, you could run three of these as well because it's such a defensive card. I mean, you, if, it depends on what type of build you want to run, offensive or defensive. I guess this is going to be the offensive card uh, of, of the deck. Tremid King Golem field. All rock type monsters on the field gain 500 attack. Oh, if a Tremid monster you control is, controls battles, your opponent cannot activate card effects until the end of damage step. If this face up card is sent from the field center grave, you can special summon one Tremid monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Tremid King Golem once per turn. So once again, this is the offensive card, like it gains 500 when you, when you bat, when a Tremid monster uh, battles, you can your opponent cannot activate card effects uh, until the end of damage step. And if uh, this card is sent from the field zone to the graveyard, you can special summon a Tremid monster from your hand. So uh, this is a Tremid mon. You can target a Tremid monster in your grave graveyard, and add it to your hand. I believe this is a Tremid monster from your deck and add it to your hand. And this is special summon a Tremid monster from your hand. Uh, especially some of want to remove most from your hand. So they work kind of together a little bit, which I like, by the way. And of course, this Harry gain 5,000 defense, Harry gain 500 attack, and Harry gain basically 500 life points. And here you can not be activate card effects until the end of damage step. Here you can't activate 
car can't your monster cannot be destroyed by card effects and this is a you draw and discard one so let's go to the last card which is trimid pulse once per turn you can banish a total of two rock type monsters and or once per turn you can banish a total of two rock type monsters and or field spell cards in your graveyard to activate one of these effects target one other face up card in the field destroy it okay target one rock type monster in your graveyard special summon in defense position okay target three field spell cards in your graveyard shuffle them into your deck draw a card so you can banish a total of two rock type monsters uh, and or and or field spell cards in your graveyard to act with one of these effects. You can either destroy a, a face up card on the field, you can special summon a, a, a rock type monster from your graveyard, you can target one face up card on the field, destroy it, you can special summon a rock type monster from your graveyard in defense position, or you can target three field spell cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into your deck. So basically what this does, it it's it kind of uses I, I, I'm this is a really exciting art type because they do so much they have so much synergy like every single card really works with the other one i think that that's what i like about the trimid they all work together to kind of create a real i'm a super excited i'm definitely gonna pick up three copies of each card of each of these cards because i'm super excited specifically this card because this can be really good it's a continuous field spell a continuous trap card that you can basically use whenever you want. So you either can take back three field spells to, to your deck, you can special summon a monster, or you can destroy a card in the field. That's good. And these three work really good together. They have pretty much similar effects, but they do different things. This is more life point gain, draw power, and of course, special summon from your deck. This is uh, your defensive card, more higher defense, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and of course, uh, you can add a monster from your graveyard and this special summons those said monsters while it gives you offensive power. And then of course we have Tremid Swings that gains 500 attack for each, each field spell with different names in your graveyard. So yeah, it can get, become a 4000 beater that can be special summoned if a Tremid monster is destroyed. So if a Tremid monster is destroyed, uh, if... If a face-up Tremid monster cards is destroyed, so if a face-up Tremid cards is destroyed, so it doesn't even have to be a monster; it can be a field spell or anything. Uh, you can special summon this card from your hand, and these three they work together as well. Like this, this is insane. This archetype is really great. Like I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, it's so simple. I mean, when you read it, that. I mean, these basically have the same effect. They destroy a field spell, and then you can activate another field spell from your deck with a different name. Uh, and then, but then they have their own effects like Tremid Control uh, Graveyard. Uh, you can send a face up Tremid once you control the graveyard, destroy uh, a, fa a set card on the field. That's pretty good. And this card is special summon another rock type monster. And this card is uh, one trimid uh, card in your graveyard. Uh, once per turn, one trimid card shuffle it to your deck, and this helps you get back cards into your deck. And then all rock, rock type monsters get final attack and final defense. So, but tell me what you think about this archetype. I mean, from trimid dancer to trimid hunter, uh, to trimid master, to trimid swings, and all the field spells they have: cruiser, fortress, and king golem. Uh, and of course the Tremid Pulse. With all these cards, what do you think they can do? I mean, I think they can do a lot. I mean, they have a lot of synergy. Plus, there are a lot of other cards you can kind of put into this deck to make it even more stronger. I'm definitely going to pick this up. I'm super excited. I haven't been this excited since Luna Light, so that tells me a lot, you know. Uh, I was excited about Melodious. I was excited about Luna Light. I was excited about Cosmo. Uh, now I'm excited about Tremid. It's definitely something that I will pick up and try to learn how to play. But tell me what you think about this archetype and please give me because some much feedback because I like this. I really like it and I want to know how to build a really good deck around this. So yeah, once again, tell me what you think and comment, like, subscribe and of course as always, 
we're gonna end with the coolest card or the cutest card through mid swings through mid dancer I mean so yeah see you later